Hello, hello, hello. Hi. We'll company you for a while. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will say, it's my fault. <clears throat> Your boy had to catch some Z's today. I spent the whole morning hanging out with my mods and did not stream. And I do want to apologize. That's my fault. But I'm here. We're going to play the story quest. We're going to see what happens and see if what everyone says is true. And if I will do a 180 on my feeling stories adventuring. I'm curious. I'm honestly curious. And if you haven't already liked the stream, please do me a favor and like the stream so that way we can get back on the recommended and uh, get some people in here to come hang out with us. It'd be greatly appreciated. Greatly appreciated. But um, I got my pizza rolls right here. I got my soda. I got y'all. I just got to put these hashtags in and then we're going to get started. Firefly Sam. Yeah, good one. Good one, good one, good one. Is that anime on the TV? It is. How's you guys' day been today, by the way? What'd you guys do today? Preparing to do the mission. Nice. So look. I did a little bit of farming without y'all. But. It was only. On simulated universe. Oh god. I haven't done anything too crazy. I got a decent spear. And I got a decent rope. But decent doesn't cut it. Not for the queen. Wait, do y'all want to hear this Coca Cola open? Y'all want some ASMR? Hold on. Listen to this. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this. I'm about to crack open this Coke right here. It's about to sound like. Sound like, sound like a. A damn bursting. Watch this shit. That honestly didn't make as much fizz noise as I thought it would, but <laughs> you get the idea. All right, hold on. Let me make sure all my settings and stuff are right.
see. Zoom. Camera. Oh, that nigga's always fucking yelling outside my door right when I start streaming. Alright, let's switch this over. Wait, where's my settings to switch over? Oh, it's because my controller's not connected. Hold on, chat. Let me connect this controller real quick. Controller mode. Poggers. I'm not going to lie, y'all. These pizza rolls are hitting right now. From what you guys have done in the story quest, is it any good? Yo. Like, if someone has already done it, what do y'all rate the story quest so far? He only did 40 minutes. Somatic I like, I don't read. <laughs> oh, you a Dragon Ball Z fan for real. That's what you're telling me. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Get this open. Sound? I don't have sound. Por qué? Hold on. <clears throat> I don't have sound. One second. I can't hear shit. Couldn't hear my game, man. Okay, so I don't know why I can't hear my game. Makes sense. Shut up. Hey, we got sound back. You're a streamer.
Dude, I'm not having pizza rolls in forever, and they're just hitting right now. It is time. Here, I want to look at my icon real quick and see how what I've done with her. There's no lock on the barista event. There's a barista event. I can go be a bartender. Don't lie to me. You know, I bartend in real life, right? Like, I actually bartend. I cook and shit, too. That's dope. Is it at least more fun than the um, alchemy event that fucking Genshin hat? Dude, look at the spear. You proud of me? I like combat events too. Did you like that Pokemon thing they had <clears throat> where you got to use the mobs as your monsters? I still haven't done all of it yet, but I didn't really like it. I'm trying not to just sit here and like choke my food down because I want to hurry up and start streaming the story quest for y'all because I don't want to keep y'all waiting too long because I don't know what y'all have to do today, but I appreciate y'all being patient with me. I literally have not eaten shit today. All right, let me go wash my hands and then we'll get started.
All right, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Get this thing. Is that a good sphere? Well, here's the thing. If I show y'all my rope, y'all are gonna pick at me. But if y'all promise not to pick at me, I'll show y'all my rope. <laughs> Because mind you, I'm settling for the base level of 42% because with, because with her two-piece rope and sphere, she's getting um, 12%. <coughs> so she evens out around like 50% anyways from what I originally had her at. Which also poggers because that means Zila, Miss Zila here can get her stuff back. Which is very good. Yeah. We just gotta work on our crit damage again. Don't worry. Most of my pieces on Akron are dog shit. 62 to 170. See, the thing is, bro, I'm at 50 with 221. So like, all right, since, since with that being said, I know y'all not gonna pick up me, bro. Listen, I farmed, I tried to have this ready. I seen this piece and I was like, bruh, this motherfucker perfect, bro. This thing is, this thing is gonna be beautiful. Mwah. Chef kisses if it hits crit rate and break effect. This is the only two stats that I really needed to kind of just like be something that I can be like, all right, cool. I'm chilling for a little bit, right? It dodged crit rate yes listen it dodged crit rate every single fucking time and this is the only attack piece i had bro literally this is the only piece i had <laughs> but it is what it is baby girl still be doing her job attack piece rope coming soon <laughs> Matter of fact, i don't think i have okay we'll we'll form we'll form some simulated universe pieces uh after wait what well, first some similar universe pieces out there. That's actually good. How is that actually good, brother? I'm sitting at a base level of 50% 50, 50 of crit rate. I mean, yeah, that's good that I can crit every half fucking quarter. <laughs> but, like, I mean, I guess it kind of balances out because my crit damage is sitting at... I am playing on doing what I was sustained. Is that actually good? Because, I mean, like, I haven't had any issues with it. It's just that, bro... I know how it comes to do when it how, how it comes when units don't crit, right? Like I played Dogon, I played Seven Deadly Sins. They all got dodged. I mean, here's the thing: I can't be mad, right? We got blessed up. This piece isn't horrible, right? We got blessed up. This piece isn't horrible. We got blessed up. This piece isn't horrible. You know what I mean? It could have hit crit rate a little bit more, but it is what it is. Um. This piece, absolutely fire. This piece, I think it hit nothing but crit rate. No, I hit some effect hit rate and crit damage. You have 39 crit rate, so I'm chilling. Nah, chat. I don't settle for less. I'm, 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 I'm gonna get me an attack piece that has like at least 10% crit rate and some crit damage on it. <clears throat> oh god. I'm gonna make y'all proud with my Akron, dog. Oh, so it's not bad? So I'm, I'm chilling right now, Loki. I mean, I, look, oh, chat, chat, li, 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 listen, 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 listen. I did a single on a standard banner today, and I might build her up. Because, listen, <clears throat> I already had a set built for her, and with 145, she gets, 145, 145 feet, she gets a break effect increase. And then I just got this light cone today that literally goes with her. And, like, right now, I think she's sitting at, like, 75% break effect. So she's gonna be, she's just gonna be a freaking buffer that like breaks and gives me openings in the future. 
I'm gonna make use of her in the future for like doing different um, mock runs and stuff like that. Is this a W like idea for a build or no? Y'all fucking with them, fucking with what I'm cooking right here? I haven't worked on her traces or anything, but I have this set that I was already like having built for her. And like <clears throat> most of the pieces have break effects or some effect resistance, you know, attack. And then, you know, we got some speed here. We got some effect hit rate. I don't really think I need effect hit rate on her since she's an imaginary unit. So I might end up switching this later to like maybe attack or like HP or something. Do you really want my advice? No, I don't want your advice on what I need to do. I want your your rating and your thoughts on what I'm cooking right here. Yo, what up, man? <clears throat> Because Yukon with, like, break effect might be kind of fucking nice. I don't have any Eidolons for her, I don't think. Let me see. I have one Eidolon for her. What is her Eidolon? Here's the speed of all allies by 10% for two turns. Sheesh. You got quite a good surprise today. What was it? I don't know. I feel like this is going to be cooking. I got to figure out what I want to do with this piece. You got E1 Acheron. Sheesh. You're one of the chosen ones. You're already one of the chosen ones because you probably got a light coin already, but you're furthermore even more chosen. <clears throat> 2 points in in actual form or 6 out of 10 with mega investment i mean here's the thing like i'm not going to be pulling for every single five star character so like i don't know you'll see you'll see in the future you'll see in the future <clears throat> you ain't finished yet how many more copies are you trying to get dude more copy and then I'm done <clears throat> trying to get that e2 trying to be mr. e2 all right let me know if this is too loud when we get to Pentecone we're going in chat <clears throat> let's get it Wait, 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 sorry, sorry, I'm not trying to stall, I'm not trying to stall, I'm not trying to stall, I usually, this is something I always do, I always take my MC. I always take my MC, at least on one of my teams, for a story quest. <clears throat> we'll do, Oh, we'll actually just do her, run her, run me with Akron. Yeah, that's fire. That's fire. That's fire. That's fire. We out here. Yes, sir. We're going to be on Mummy Akron today. Kafka won't be here for the, uh, the quest, but it's okay. I'm not using Fire MC. Just let me be. What do I have on? Because <clears throat> I took a lot of my shit off. Oh, yeah, I took a lot of my stuff off. Where's all my stuff at? Gwen Knifen has it on because I was trying to play with someone's team the other day. For lore reasons? Okay, but I got you. I don't know. <clears throat> I kind of agree with everybody else. Going for like E2 on the light cone. I don't feel like it's worth. You get way more investments out of the uh, Eidolons. I don't think you should go for more copies of the light cone, in my opinion. Mm. 
Zilla. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Blade. I'll give it back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get it. Now we're ready. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You said put her on the left, right? <clears throat> Let's see. All right, you guys ready? Let's get it. I have a question for you guys. Should I start making... Um, video repos re, re uploads of like the stream highlights, like for um, Trailblazer Quest questions, stuff like that. And if so, I guess you could say I'm recording a video right now and say hi. <laughs> I don't fucking know, say hi to chat or say hi to the comment section <laughs> just in case I do go back and re upload this because, like, I heard some people wanted me to start um, taking some of the streams. Like, right now, obviously, I'm doing, you know, live stream of the Trailblazer Quest, but I don't know. I don't think I'll go back and cut it up, but nice. just to cut out, you know, the stream starting and then all that, et cetera, et cetera. I can just upload, you know, when the video starts. But anyways, if you guys care to say hello to the comment section and stuff like that, say hello to YouTube. Tell them to come hang out in the stream. Tell them how fun it is and chill and blah, 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 all that shit. Anyways, let's get it. <clears throat> we are doing the Devil in Velvet story quest today. So let's get it. Let's get it. No one's spoiling, which is a real nice thing. Um, yeah, so it would like to be dope. Right, let's get it. You guys let me know if it's too loud. I have it up pretty decently, but hopefully it's not super, super loud. We can test some uh, voice lines. Our journey begins anew. Life passes like a fleeting rain, eventually merging with the ground. May our next encounter be under a clear sky. Perfect. Nice. Good, 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 good. All right, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Appreciate y'all. Oh. <laughs> Why does this quest have to start with my least favorite person? Huh? Why does it have to be him? <laughs> Why does it have to be this idiot? <laughs> Don't you fucking look at me. <laughs> I hate this dude so fucking much. The, I have the same amount of hate, and everyone knows this lore-wise. I have the same amount of hate for this dude that I do for Tartalia, bro. I dead eyes, still, still to this day and in the future, I am never doing Tartalia's story quest ever, bro. I hate this <laughs> All right, let's get it. Ah, oh, friend. My expression <laughs> wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Someone came in here the other day and told me Your Adventurine is you. the it's her. Jung Lee Famous of Hong Kong Star Row. It put a bad taste in my mouth. Oh, yeah. Robin's dead. I forgot about that. Hmm. Well, I didn't forget about that, but I forgot that's where exactly where we left off. We walked in and saw her dead, and and this is my room, right? <laughs> this is my room. <laughs> well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me, and they hate the IPC. So they'd never lie. You would lie to me. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Oh, you struggle? The of recollection Bro, I'm about to throw hands with adventuring, dude. Did you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? 
Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's Dreamweavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> listen, listen, Not don't spoil the fight on him. Could do that I'll handle the adventuring's bitch ass when I get to him. Don't worry about it. Who could have done it, friend? I'm gonna step on his J's. The one is her. The girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger. An imposter. An unsought guest. An emanator who hides her true identity. Ifrit's death was a foregone conclusion. Wait, is he b and Robin, blaming me? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? I mean... That's I, I mean I've already said that. I don't trust anyone in Pentaconi. I mean I trust Akron, but that's a biased trust. It's fine. Listen to your guy. Akron could stab me in the back with her katana in this time. in the next scene and I will still be like, damn bro. <laughs> she she's not that bad. I just hope you realize that wherever that <laughs> Sparkle, I know she's concerned. fucked. Covert plan. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Everyone's got their own agenda. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from See man. After all, any schemes out in the He don't even he don't even like her, bro. In the shadows, right? Bro, Akron's innocent. Oh, I thought it was her. This is one I don't trust. Memo keeper. Especially after doing her her companion quest, bro. The truth. This yeah, I do remember the first interaction with Akron. And there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. She didn't really stab me. She just cut me into a million pieces and woke me up, bro. Limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Friend, let's not be. <laughs> I trust Black Swan more than adventuring as well. Trust me. I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. <laughs> I told you I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I trust Topaz more than I trust Adventuring, dude. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC. If you catch my drift. You said that before. Ownership of this frontier prison. Oh. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take. I wonder if we're gonna get any clues about. The you have no idea how difficult annihilation gang that got destroyed. Put it this way, they've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. I mean, Sparkle's It'll portraying be... Robin right now. We know that. Like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever being the wiser. That's not fair, right? So then. I need your help. What kind of help? Yeah, what kind of help? <laughs> I have but only one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. I feel like if we end up helping him, we're helping the wrong so person. Can, can I decline? Behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> Fuck Robin! I want justice for Flyerfly, bro. For bringing the family to the table. Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. Only the Swifties are gonna pull for Robin, and I, I'm sorry if y'all take that the wrong way, but only Swifties are gonna pull for Robin, bro. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family, so they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions. And that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. 
The Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. I get blessings from Harmony? What happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. Okay. I mean, that's very true. We wouldn't associate with them because they're kind. Of, we're kind of like doing our own thing, bro. We don't fuck with y'all. You just head back and talk things over with your companions. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. I am going to step on your J's and burn this card. Call me. No. <laughs> oh, and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. Did you just give me under the Fred, table money? I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Hmm. Aventurine just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it. No, don't. Something He's gaslighting you. Don't do it. What now? What are your plans? I'm going to punch him. Black Swan. What is she thinking? Bro, I see Black Swan. And then I see Akron. We won. W's in chat. Team Akron, we won. <laughs> we won, boys. <laughs> we fucking won, man. <laughs> On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But Aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. But, judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on and deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death to try and <clears throat> pull you in line with his way of thinking. I told y'all he was manipulating. It's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool, and working with him definitely has its dangers. For sure, for Firefly's yeah, sake. Is something I agree on. Why didn't you do anyway, anything? Be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be. Who isn't? I don't fucking concern. know. Pentacony is just Gasacony, dog. The other questions. Hmm. Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> no one is capable of providing an answer. But without a doubt, she is the most special guest at this banquet. Interesting. Like Aventurine said just then, it's best to keep your distance from her. Hmm. I don't really give a fuck about Robin. What else have you noticed? Victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span. In and of itself, that's very unusual. Two possibilities. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up. Making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or, everything has been planned out and executed by someone. But who is that someone, someone has though? chosen these victims deliberately? First, a smuggler, then a family celebrity. Then this murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. I mean, what would they have? This is a real question, right? Why fire a fly? And then two... Like, Robin would be, like, somebody that's, like, oh, she's, like, a celebrity. Like, she's part of the family. You know what I mean? Like, that makes sense. But why Firefly? What the fuck does she do? Here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. Come this way. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. Why are you running? I'm 
No, not this place. Oh no. <laughs> I saw this on other people's streams because I watch reactions and I didn't go back and get it yet because I wanted to do it with y'all. <sighs> Can we get some 07s in chat, bro? Since I didn't properly ask for some. I don't care how many you spam. Just spam 07 for a minute, man. Damn. Wait, do I get to keep that? I get to keep that, right? I don't get to keep that. Go fuck about Robin's Bell. Damn, that's such. I guess we don't get to keep it. I attack both characters you're planning on getting. I don't get to keep that picture of me and Sparkle right there. It doesn't go anywhere. Man. Y'all ruined the moment. That should have been the mission item. This is where we part ways. What? This is like the picture is somewhere. Don't lie to me. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened. And it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. But follow your heart and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths. And ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, hold on just a sec. There you go, a small parting gift. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone and there's no memo keeper to join you, hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. Interesting. I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> what does she say if you say that? You know what? Fuck you. I lost my 50-50 to you. I have something private to take care of regarding that Galaxy Ranger. Let's oh. leave things there, shall we? What fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. Hmm. Goodbye, Miss Black Swan. Appreciate you. Are you still the Dreamscape Hotel? Devil. Devil. You're in trouble. Fancy help. March to come. Blah, 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 blah. Damn. <laughs> Man. Don't oh, remind me. Is Himiko okay? Fates epilepsy. I always forget Pentagon has some actually good music. Fast as fuck. Oh, 
Wait, do you have a uh, sticker for me? Bitch. So much has happened. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. What are you going to think about? <laughs> Yeah, about to give us a last time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yeah, <Hey>, let's go. <laughs> Hello? Now, Ranger. Do you still dream, Hunter? Wait. Of those slain by your hand. <sighs> Y'all just go cut that off. Ooh. It appears the outcome has already been determined. We're still alive, as are you. We still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind, and then go. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Ranger, you'll tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. We come from the fire and are born bathed in fire. We spread, burn. Until all the kindling is burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon. From the beginning to the end. We are born to die just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All things are created for destruction. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young. My flames are feet, and time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there, and before that, I must surpass you. So she killed them because they were coming there to destroy the place? Because I'm the path they have. shall indeed remain here, bound to fight a decisive battle to the death, for I choose this. Destruction is intense, but brief. To crave and reclaim to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction. What is important is not the answer, but that it exists, just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. 
Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called impossible is merely something that is yet to happen. All right. I accept. You shall witness the most brilliant and intense fire in existence. May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. Are you serious? I mean, she was trying to get the music box, but like... Yeah. Made one small mistake. This blade remains in its scabbard, not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want mm. to disclose. She was there to get the music box. Perhaps out of rest But he was on his way to destroy the place, and then he was like, "I got, I want to fight you, anyways." I'm, I'm assuming. I'll reveal the truth to you. The hunt is not the path I truly. <laughs> I'm sorry. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Oh my god. Guiding you back to the waking world. Bro, she's her voice just got deeper. Holy shit. I still see them in my dreams. Wait, what? Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. <gasps> Yeah, it was so. If I was standing in front of Akron thinking I'm about to body this fight, and she says, "Wait, we can't fight. Your time hasn't come yet," I might just stop and quit my fucking job at that point, bro. On fucking God, dude. <laughs> she said, "Your time hasn't come yet. You're not supposed to die yet." Like, what the fuck do you mean by that, lady? <laughs> I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances. They can never cover up a little person really is. And you're no different. You had no desire to kill the trailblazer. You only did what you did. Me and the memo keeper away, but why? <sighs> did Destiny's slave make you do it? You know, Elio. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. Elio is writing the script, the script chat. Has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. Sam is so fucking cool, dude. My nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Please don't cut. Just give us a little bit. Not your enemy, perhaps. That's not what I asked. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wander in the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Maybe I can help. What reason would you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. I know who is inside that cold armor. <gasps> who's in? Who's it? How about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? Who's in the armor? Do we know?
Mm. It's not yet time. I don't need help, but I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. So we have a situation where we have a robot that obviously has someone inside. We don't know who that is. And we have Akron who we can tell by physical features who they are, like face and you know who they are in general but we don't know anything about them but they know each other in a sense already on it and the astral express is no enemy of yours i know that i just never expected to hear you say it what's next then the trailblazer has been taken by black swan Will you go look for her? No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am. Damn, you guys are really good at like telling them that stuff apart. That's pretty dope. Can't Interesting. Go against the script. I need someone to actually so teach me Japanese, dude. Possible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny. Unfortunately, not a thing came up. <laughs> I knew it. Bro. Is Akron kind of like how we are in Genshin? Is she just a descender at this point? Is she just like someone that's not from here? Because if she's not in the script, then like... You know, that's what I'm, that's what I'm kind of like picking up right now. Or maybe am I theory crafting too deep? Someone let me know. Am I pushing too far? Pushing the envelope too far? Like is Akron not just a part? Is she just not supposed to be here? Because it makes me wonder if Well is kind of in the same boat to where like. That's what I'm saying. See, yeah, yeah, see, see, you were already about to type it out. Like, I'm thinking Akron and Well are, like, obviously, like, I don't know what is going on here, bro. There's a script that everyone's following, in a sense. Kafka knows the whole thing from front to end. She's kind of like the director, in a sense. So, I, I, I'm 100% expect, expecting Kafka to show up at least one time in Pentagon League before we leave entirely. Like, on God. Because we know that Akron is right in May. I don't. Don't. I mean, it's not even that, bro. She keeps forgetting her past, dude. Interesting. I was born without the ability to dream. I live he can't dream. in this cold, harsh reality for a little light. So her, so her past is being erased? How consistently is it being erased? Like, is it every so, like, eons or something? Or every so many lifetimes? Is that so? 
and you're already living in the waking world. Interesting. There's a lot there. There was a lot there. There was a whole lot of a lot. <laughs> there was a lot. <laughs> we heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan. Oh. But we never expected Miss Robin to. Oh. Yeah, we'll there are different things. But I couldn't be with you then. Reality cruises on. Bro, I mean, even in the Akron trailers, you saw like references from Wendy. You saw references from her and Kiara fighting on the rooftop and her in the Black Swan dance trailer. There were so many references. Like, she's literally confirmed to be fucking right in May. Or at least a version of her. Like, I paid attention to so much of that. Like, because I remember I, I've been playing Honkai Saro and watching the trailers. Not Honkai Saro, but uh, Honkai Impact and watching the trailers. Indeed, we trust that the nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. That's how it was put in reference to Miss Firefly. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Panacone's going to turn into a bloodbath. But the murder that followed closely... Because isn't, isn't Raiden May getting her final Hershey form? The family had to try and turn things to their advantage. Like, literally, bro. Bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival like, is nearly here. Hold on, let me pause this. Because I want to pay attention to it. Under. One thing that y'all got to realize, Akron is like right in May. If literally every possible thing went fucking wrong. Like literally every possible thing went wrong. Like in the Black Swan and... Akron trailer they were like when they were dancing like if you paid attention on the floor and stuff there was like the stars made like little cutscenes <clears throat> from like a bunch of like infamous moments during riding uh maze like you know journey across like just a honkai impact in general or honkai universe like Akron is like if everything went wrong bro and I wouldn't be surprised if at some point That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I feel like, obviously, it's, like, we, we know that Welt got on the Astro Express searching for a way to get back and try to fix things, right? So we know Welt is not from here. Boom. We got that. Akron might be in the same situation, but just in the sense of, think about if there was two separate timelines. And Walt went off on a timeline where, like, obviously he hopped on the Astro Express. And then there was also a split timeline for um, Raiden to where everything went fucking hit the fan. Every, shit just hit the fan. Everything went wrong. And she just had to go on a straight path with just either killing or her own journey or trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. And then, like, while also losing her memory. So she's stuck in this infinite conundrum of trying to solve a problem that she can't remember what the fuck it is, bro. <laughs> I don't know. That's just what I'm going across. That's just what I'm coming across. It may also be that Miss Firefly I mean, everything went wrong, yes. But, like, think about the worst case scenario to where it's just like, dude, she had to just harness the, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't want to go too deep because I don't know the full threshold of the impact or the hunk guy. Such as that IPC envoy. Yeah, I don't like adventuring. That galaxy ranger. Are we missing the forest for the trees? I think Will's hiding his power. I always felt that adventuring's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron. And I feel like there's reasons why he's hiding his power. Cause, um, the thing is, like, we we know. At this point, I'm afraid it is. We can trust See, Mika, bet, bro. Mika, Mika, Mika's cooking. Look, it's literally in his name. He know. They know. They know. The Mika is cooking. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. And what is the truth? Still got this sense of foreboding. It's 
like we're stuck in a whirlpool, spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened. Uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective. But before we start, what are we going to say to the family and adventuring? You're not aware of that? Things, the family harbors no Keep cooking, holy bro. See, bro, listen. If they didn't chat the crew, I literally they what if if Mahoy if Hoyoverse is not stuck to one thing that they had kept they said they were gonna keep their word to was making sure that their character IPs would be used across every single fucking game they possibly put out like literally bro and when, I, I knew when they were gonna drop Akron I was like bro this is they're about to go crazy her rollout is gonna be fucking crazy bro they cooked all the while he appealed convincingly to both like riding shogun's cool like don't get me wrong riding shogun's cool right the intent was but obvious. it's just that like dude when it comes to writing may her lore obviously is way cooler and way deeper and for it to be for akron to be like obviously more reference and more close to right in may it's just so fucking cool to me bro so cool but right and shogun can't cook yeah that's true there's way too much info for players like me to theorize but the thing is they make it to where you don't really have to super super theorize it it's literally they put so many easter eggs like bro their trailers are so cool they put so many easter Still, eggs dude it's good to have so many easter eggs and when y'all told me to go start like educating myself on the honkai impact lore and stuff like that i started picking characters that i was interested that i was interested in and started doing some lore on them like the next one i wanted to get like more information on is kiara she's cool as fuck close teaming up with the ipc helps balance that out if either side makes a move we have the option to pull out i feel like they just sent her hunting bro accepting aventurine's proposal to team up yes it's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making exactly we do. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here. <laughs> and I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. She's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. Just a few long shots. I mean, that's always fun, though. I, I mean, I think that's the fun and innocence when it comes to theory crafting or when you get into games like this that have a lot of deep lore and stuff like that i think it's really cool because if you actually do care about it you have that sense of excitement to find out more about you know your favorite character because like when it comes to like hoyoverse games it's like one big ass movie with multiple timelines literally it's one big ass movie with multiple timelines but the characters have different roles in each movie but they're the same person but just different roles if that makes sense do i have sparkle i do it's cool you can bully me whenever <laughs> uh, you <laughs> We can just turn the tables and use them instead. True. That's what I'm talking about, March. Look, chat, I told y'all, anytime I get a chance to make let March be like standing on business, I make her stand on business. Why oh, you get frustrated? I feel like it's pretty cool. Look at his zesty ass profile picture. I hate this man. That's it? Yeah. Send me more, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ring your pockets. <laughs> Ring your pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Aventurine is happy with this outcome. Let's tell everyone about it. Man, fuck Aventurine. We just ran his pockets, chat. Look at 
<laughs> Look how fat my pockets is, man. <laughs> Avengerine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To do this, he'll have to. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep hitting everybody with that's it. <laughs> the existence of death will be covered up by the family. So, how does he plan on taking them down? Easy little, easy little 200k. Enough that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. Yeah, it's always, I mean, like, even if then, even if you didn't understand it then, and, like, say you were watching some information on Honkai Impact, and you were like, oh, damn, that's what Akron and what we're talking about. I still feel like that's a cool way of, like, interpreting that information or like intercepting that information you know what I mean Aventurine has devoted considerable attention to her but this galaxy ranger we know hardly anything about her I can't rush to any conclusions Himiko I'm glad you're okay everybody including Tech Zone we're talking about you're gonna die man in any case we have to be careful when handling Aventurine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right. I like. I love Major Lore, bro. Cause I like. I love like Elden Ring lore and stuff like that. Like I like watching lore videos. It's cool as fuck. I love the artistic landscape that they can like stretch out and just divide with those type of things. Okay. Well, what you talking about? Aventurine said something that concerns me. Okay. He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any whatsoever, but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why mm, he was let's stalking see. you. It was a groundless accusation, which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. He's bluffing, but what is he? Does he have any? We know he's bluffing. His goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Two birds, one stone. However, I asked Don Hung back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? Weird, I can't seem to remember. <laughs> I wonder... Oh, no. <clears throat> Bias me would say this, but... I kind of, yeah, but you don't have to, like, force yourself, like, no one's paying you or putting a gun to your head to make you absorb all that lore at one time, you know what I mean? Hmm. That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. Interesting. Wait, can I talk to you again? Whatever happens, whatever Wait. happens, please don't place all your trust in Aventurine. We cannot afford to be manipulated by him. So even Walt doesn't trust Aventurine. Mr. Yang, I mean. <laughs> uh oh, March. Please, nothing happened to March. You look just you looking like Robin for real, March. <laughs> she just she, there's nothing going on in the head right there. She just <laughs> I hope it's not too soon to bring it up. But I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead, but that she's still alive and well. Somewhere. But everything's just some horrible prank. That's true. Because I understand that. Aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone 
die in a beautiful dream. I don't know, like I said, it's one of those type of things where like I I'm just Did interested in lore. Things happen here? Uh, whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. No, no. After all, they've brought everyone this sleepy dreamscape, which everyone loves. I just feel like I'm starting to understand them less and less. Mm. Everyone's still having a great Yeah, she looks so sad, man. Streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us we're all outsiders from another world. Aw, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. Ah, <sighs> but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. Damn, bro. Yo, stressing March out. She about to start smoking cigarettes. <laughs> What do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that she witnessed are the most. I mean, that's what it's gonna feel like a big spider web because that's what it is. It's a spider, spider verse. <laughs> Essentially, that's what they're trying to make a spider verse where everything is in a web that connects to each other in some shape or form. I love the chaotic lore like that, bro. Why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. Worth focusing on? Oh. No problem. I'll leave it to you then. Uh-huh. Get to see Himeko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. Oh well. Take care then, Mr. Yang. <laughs> I will. Keep in touch. <laughs> hmm. Well, what I'm you doing? Guest, uh, could you come out for a second? It's her brother. Oh God, it's gonna be her brother. It's Akron. Be embarrassed too. Scared out like that. Forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Welt. Is there something about my name? First, don't you want to know my name? I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure. If Welt wouldn't have said that bullshit, she probably would have said it the other way. What are they saying about me? Mm. Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. That the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blame. I love chaos, dude. And I have ADHD, so like, to I love having to just <laughs> scroll over the fucking place. The Annihilation Gang. <laughs> of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic path strider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? Keen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. So you must surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. Holy fuck, Will, take it easy, dude. That shouldn't be necessary. <laughs> but 
But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron, those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old, final request. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Throw this right in. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions. Such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. <sighs> is she okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything. Right? She's so worried about me. Why is Akron so worried about me? Let's just stick with the topic. Gaining my trust depends on how much you're willing to reveal. I've run around many different Penacony dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of Penacony may be closely related to the Trailblaze. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm hmm By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? No. Four cups. Because the conversation coming up will last forever. Interessante. I've been watching her closely for a while now, and the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, chugging down a couple of cups of wake the heck up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage, not the taste of sweet dreams. Only for people allergic to soul glad. You gonna need more luck she now? Said, Why? Really? But I don't taste any difference at all between them. <laughs> Man, don't start. The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. It's a cinch. This music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. The Annihilation Gang you want to retire, Bailu? Bailu's goaded. What exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. Gradation 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. That's Sparkle, no? Sparkle voice? Welcome, Dubra. Wherever they go. No, that's the small little fucking weird doll with the demon behind her. Wait, all of them got killed? There it is. 
it's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably all those people from the Annihilate Annihilation Gang trailer got killed. I just all that just settled in. They were abruptly interrupted. That little doll thing with the demon behind her looks so cool. Everflame Mansion has set out on a <laughs> annihilated game. <laughs> they have no idea what lies in the ahead of them. Akron's path is annihilation. <laughs> but slowly, she'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact, and that's how it should have gone. But along the way, it's like it's been erased. Who's done this? Wait, I have a question. I have a question. Do y'all think every time Akron like pulls her her blade out, she like forgets about what happened after the fact? Like she goes into like a drunken fist rage, or it's just like one a couple slashes, and then she's just like, oh damn. You got fucked up. What happened? <laughs> it's no. Is this not a memory? Oh, a memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection for the cremators? My name is Constance. A pleasure Constance. to meet you. We were supposed to meet at Penagoni and spend. <laughs> Unforgettable time together. Who's Constance? But that seems unrealistic. Dolly is not welcome on the banquet store. And I don't need a coming of age. I thought she said Dubby. Dobby. <laughs> Dobby's not welcome on the banquet store. <laughs> Not the phone. Hmm. A phone. Wanna listen in? A few days ago, the IPC made an announcement. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. Mm. 
Sagonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorno star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home, dividing themselves into seek out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. Land of rock, but not water. Lightning, but not rain. Blood, but not tears. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up. With the cracked earth. You promised us a land of honey, yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Who are these people that they're listening? Gaiath for Triclops. If thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. When you took his father, my child was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. I don't ask for a peaceful death, just for you to tell me. Does the baby swaddle sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? Triclops, mm. <laughs> you came. <laughs> Do you hear that? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Darling, listen. This is the sound of rain. On the day you were born, the sky also sent down a gift like this from Gayathra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them to Avjet. <gasps> My boy. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let
let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. to this sad world, Kakavasha. <sighs> Time to wake up, gambler. What in the fuck is going on? <laughs> that was a venturing as a baby? I must have drunk too much soul glad. I didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you guessed. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They're still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Using a stand-in, I guess. <laughs> they must be me. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idea created by the family? Mm. that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> you tried to kill really yourself in the dream scene? by the dream pool and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. And that's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was a stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the nameless. Oh, she must have come across the other one. <laughs> this murderer is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. Uh, it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin Stannon was all ready to go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. What should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so I gotta be careful. Incredible gambler. Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? <laughs> oh, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Robin is what she calls the mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. Hmm. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. <sighs> to get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. But she died. Right before my very eyes. A complete and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene. And the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the hounds. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are. A probability? Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. To phrase it in a manner more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, 
you're dreaming. <laughs> but if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. Oh. Sunday. Mm. <sighs> Is this a private trial? If it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, <laughs> just you wait and see. Batman's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Well, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. You about to go to sleep? Bro, it's about to be the weekend, man. Old man. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. Fortress? <laughs> oh, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. This mansion normally belongs to Sunday, and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? <laughs> Who's to say I won't sell you out? Sheesh. We'll see. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. Follow me and I'll go to his parlor. Hold your tongue and let me deal with the members of the family. Do I have to do this part? It's getting late. Where to now? What? Gonna stop here and play for yourself? Nice. I honestly don't want to play as fucking adventuring, dude. I hate this man. I hate him so much. Y'all just want him because he fucking. Why do y'all want him? Why do y'all like him? Y'all like that? Wait, so question, do y'all want me to do a part two to this so y'all can go get caught up on it? I think that'll be cool. I can just do a part two to it.
seems good to you. All right, blah, blah, blah. We'll do a part two to it. I'm going to go uh, probably do these two runs on Simulate the Universe. We'll do part two tomorrow then. So that way, I can still hang out for a little bit before I end stream. It's getting late. Where to now? Well, as long as I stay out of Pentaconi, I should be good. That's fun. It did two hours worth. I'll try to go live at like 4 p.m. tomorrow. Good night, bro. I was hoping to at least get to fight once in that thing.
Mm. Oh, perfect. We're just normal type thing. Yeah. We're chilling. Took my sparkle. Fucker. attack here i don't know if i'll go into ultimate i mean i can just get everything reset and reapplied I think I'll save Akron ult until after he takes. This is so annoying sometimes.
Yeah, you bitch. Ah! I'm never gonna get an attack rope that I fucking need, bro. And by the way, we might have to give this back to Akron until we get it. Get the proper one because I lost out on a lot of DPS. Then we'll just leave for now, and then once everything resets tomorrow, we have somewhere to start on getting fucked on relics. But I am going to be in the stream. We're going to be doing part two tomorrow of the Trailblazer story quest tomorrow um, around like 4 p.m. So if you do want to come hang out for that, please hit the sub button. Please hit the like button. We're going to be doing the part two tomorrow because I know a lot of people said they didn't want to watch because they didn't want to be spoiled. So it'll give you guys some time to get caught up on the story. That way, y'all can come hang out with me. And see my reaction to it. But I hope you guys did enjoy. I appreciate you guys so much. Please leave a like and please subscribe if you haven't already. Try to hit a thousand subs. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.